we are all okay. We are back again. And we've got a couple of friends with us. <laughs> yes, Joe Exotic. <laughs> yeah, oh, <old> bitch. <laughs> Bad bitch. <laughs> bitch. Uh, do you know what's really weird though, right? We put these backgrounds on, but for some reason, my phone doesn't like it. So, look, I, like, I don't... I lose an arm. It's, it's, and then the half my sofa comes up. Like if I chicken, <laughs> my sofa comes up. <laughs> and it's like if I mess with this, my uh, my my uh, window comes up. So yeah, <laughs> my arm just keeps flashing it out. Like, oh hello, uh, it just keeps flashing it out. Broke the jaw, Weird. Put him up then. Look, you put your left. Dumb in your left arm out, in out, in out, you shake it all about. Sorry, definitely losing it now. Right. Down, are you? <laughs> Been in the house for too long, <laughs> clearly. Yeah, right. Today's video, we are going to do a quick QA. We did ask our social medias for people to send in questions, uh, and we've had quite a few and yeah. a good mixture, not just theme park related. Yeah, um, they've been good questions, some of them proper format. Some, I still not percent figured out what I want to say with it. No, it's difficult, isn't it? But we've, uh, yeah, we've wrote down, like, no expense spared. What? 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 Oh my god! Uh, <laughs> don't like paper. Oh, I gave some answers there, I think. Right, I've wrote it down on some paper. Um, very technical, but yeah. yeah. So let's get going. Yeah. So first one's from Caryland TV on Twitter. Uh, that asks, "What ride made you become an enthusiast, and what would you like to see Towers do next?" Ooh. Right. Okay. I don't have a specific ride that i could think of that would make me become an enthusiast i could say a place which would be pleasure beach blackpool because i just remember going there often like very often and um things like saving up the tokens out the paper to get the cheap rides and, and things like that i actually um just posted on twitter today if you follow us on twitter at tt tourists uh, some pictures from when i was younger like i think they're about 93 from Pleasure Beach so yeah I'd say that Pleasure Beach probably made me into an enthusiast more than a ride uh, and what will Towers do next or what do I want Towers to do next oh, I want them to get rid of their terrible rapids yes. and replace it with some other kind of water ride I know everyone's saying like a water coaster but for me it doesn't even have to be a water coaster just even if they remodeled the rapids and, and made it better yeah, I'd be happy because I enjoy the rapids. Um, but yeah, I think they need another water ride. I think they're good for coasters for a while, and they've just done gangster. Even though it's not been opened yet, but they've got gangster granny, so they've got a dart ride. Um, I think they need a water ride. They do need a water ride. That would be my answer. Yeah. So the towers part of it. Um, I'd say water coaster, or like you say, something where just what, what, what water rides. You need to get wet. How, that's how I yeah. see it. And on them rapids, you don't you don't even have to do anything, and, and you come no. out bone dry. So yeah. definitely some kind of water ride. Um, and same with you. Um, it wasn't really a ride. I'd say the earliest rides I remember was Revs Revolution at Blackpool and yeah. Black Hole at Alton Towers. And oh, then it's always Black Hole is great. Um, and I think it'll be towers for me that, that got me into it because we always used to go, always used to go for birthdays, and then it's one that we went to a lot when we were younger, wasn't it? Yeah, the younger when we were 18, 19. <laughs> younger back in the day, back, back in the day. Well, I'm 31 now, Emma. Oh, yeah, it was your birthday. Did you enjoy your birthday? I did. I got drunk. Did you get the best present ever for the post? Yeah. What this, was it? This. So one second. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's a 
<laughs> You've disappeared into Carol Baskin's face. <laughs> and I think it's a uh, very theme. What is Carol Baskin's spoon? Tiger oh, King spoon. That's it. What does it say? Let me read it. Read it. Put it back. It just says Tiger King. Oh, I thought it was going to say like that bitch or something like that. Nah, it just says Tiger King. All right. I wasn't talking about that present, but whatever. Why, what were you thinking? This one. The one that I got you! Hold on. Rude. This one. Yeah, Emma got me this. Yes, my Emma. She can't see it because it's Carol Baskin's it. bed. <laughs> These backgrounds aren't going very well at all, are they? <laughs> <laughs> if you thought it'd be funny, but it's just ruining everything. <laughs> it has, but it's still funny. We're keeping them there. Get used to it. <laughs> right, next question. Uh, from Mark Garrison through Twitter. Hello, Mark. Hope you're okay. Oh. Um, what's your funniest memory from a theme park visit? Mine's easy. Mine is from you. No, uh, Alan's Adventure last year when yeah. took Caleb on Jurassic Park, and he loves Jurassic Park. And he loved it until the drop. <laughs> And I thought that was funny enough, him screaming down my ear down that. But then we got to the photo booth and the funniest picture. I'm gonna need to put that picture in here. I'll I'll post that picture now. Boop. And we're back. <laughs> <laughs> and we're back in the room. But um, yeah, that picture, oh it's just funny. I've seen that picture. It's it's worth the way the picture I trust. Um, okay, my funniest theme park memory. I'm trying to think like if we go off since we've been a channel since we've been vlogging, so we'll go off since like last September, would have to be that your first ever go on Sky Force at Blackpool. <laughs> because I have never ever cried with laughter so much on a ride as I did with that because Carl had never done it before and, and I was just saying to him I was like yeah you move the paddles and then you'll get some ro like rotations going but genuinely like the, from the first bit in the air he was just like off like was, and all you could hear was him going what the hell what the hell <laughs> Emma, to come as well. Emma, like, what the fuck is going on here everybody on the ground watching was laughing the rider was laughing in his little booth <laughs> and it was, I was just, I couldn't control my laughter and I was streaming with tears. I gave up on like trying to spit it because I was laughing. Because all you could hear was, what's going on? How do I make it stop? Stop! Stop! I'm going to be sick! Stop! It was, it was, oh, it was funny. And you, you were, you were in tears when you got off it. Oh, it was funny. Oh, it was so funny. It was so funny. And if you like what, back to the, the vlog that we did where we tried to talk about it afterwards, like, I just couldn't control myself it was so funny it was it was just hilarious because you did about 500 spins on your first go oh, it was mental came off the it was funny but um yeah i think say that's my funniest recent memory of the vlog i think that would be the same if gone recent like since we started the vlog that was just yeah. just before um it was like a week two weeks before we we did our first one. Yeah. Um, that's got to be up there. And I think the, the Sunday of Pleasure Beach opening was a funny day. Sunday? Yeah, when we're hanging. Yeah. It was fun. We were all hanging and we thought the people that were with just made it. And it was yeah, we had Carly with us, didn't we? And Carly was just like, everybody was hungover. And Carly was like, come on, guys. Let's go do some coasters, and we were like, we hadn't got into like five o'clock the night before. We were like, Shh. yeah, there was me and got in since five. John was in bed at six, but no. yeah, sorry, I'm just getting some snack. And then we had cousin Heath, didn't we? Yeah, did we? Well, yeah, and they, they helped us do a full day, really. So, thank you guys, it was great laugh. Mm. Alright, next question. What's me asking? Uh, Lizzie Trip Track on Twitter. 
Uh, favourite and least favourite alcoholic drink, and I know what your least is. I'm going to go for. Okay, favourite. Favourite would have to be a Weatherspoons, specifically Weatherspoons, woo-woo cocktail, because it just tastes so much better like, than everywhere else. Like, And the fact that it's like two jugs for £12 just makes everything better. But specifically the Weatherspoons one, or on a normal day, a pint of dark fruit. I can drink dark fruit like water. Um, my least favourite, I have two. Uh, my okay. least favourite ever completely is tequila because it's just absolutely rank. I can't even smell it. It's disgusting. Um, also, I really, really don't like black sambuca. I mean, I'll not go into detail, but there's a very Funny. graphic story. <laughs> Funny stuff. Which involved me drinking like a whole bottle after a night out and just not being very well afterwards. So, yeah, that'd be mine. What's yours? Uh, Favourite, I'm very partial to an ale. I like ales, like me ales and beers. Uh, oh. Rum. Rum. Mm -hmm. Diet Coke or Pepsi. Oh. Uh, and least favourite, Sambuca. And I'll throw tequila in there. I'm not a shot person, really. Unless it's Jager I bomb. like the Jager bomb. That that's the only shot I can do in the crap sours. But yeah, not. I love the Jager bomb. Like they don't like me, but I like them. Mm. Uh, right. Next question. Janie Kirkham on Facebook. Janie Kirkham, Carl. Oh. <laughs> Jenny Kirkham on Facebook. If you could ride a roller coaster with one famous person, dead or alive, who would it be? Um, see, I've, I've been struggling with this because I'm not sure. I'd, like, I think maybe Dave Beckham because I've met all the other class of 92 by him. Mm -hmm. So it might be a way for me to meet him. Or mm -hmm. someone like Hayley Williams, maybe. Because you're a pervert. No, I'm not. That's the only reason you want to ride a roller coaster because you're a pervert, not the one. <laughs> no, it isn't. Because <laughs> she'd be sound to sit and talk to. And you're a pervert. Go on, who's yours then? Right, okay. I struggled because I don't have like a hero in life. Like everyone's got like a famous like hero. My nails are disgusting. Ne like hero. I have like musical heroes, so. My musical hero is Chester Bennington from Linkin Park. So, probably him, especially because he's not with us anymore. Um, yeah. I'd like to because for, when I watch like videos of him in his everyday like everyday life, like he was just always really happy and like was really fun. So I suppose I'd just like to ride a coaster with him. And then knowing what I know now, maybe asking questions about how he's feeling and do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, not saying that help because who am I to help? Everyone would have sorted out <laughs> just <that. laughs> It would never have happened if I rode a roller coaster with him. Um, no, Chester Bennington. That's my answer. Fair enough. Next one from Craig Toy, Twitter. Oi, oi, Craig Toy. Yes, Craig Toy. <laughs> uh, so, COVID-19 is coming. You need to get on a coaster for the last time in a while. Which one would it be? It can be one you haven't rid ridden. It can be anywhere in the world. Right. I changed my answer for this a lot. Because <laughs> there's a lot I want to do. But right now, this you told me I could ride any coaster, it would be El Toro at Six Flags Great Adventure. Because... A, it just looks mint. It's massive. It's really, really fast. Every POV that I've watched has got like ridiculous airtime, especially at the back. Um, I'm a bit of like an intimate fan girl as well, so to ride an intimate Woody would be good. Um, it just looks mint. It just, it's just huge, and like them hills just look amazing, and the airtime, like, I love a wooden coaster as it is. But that is probably up there. With like with the likes of Steel Avengers and stuff, as if I could ride it 
I'd write it now, but that's what I do. Then yeah. I would go for, I've, I've again thought about this a lot because there's loads, isn't there, that we've not yeah. done. Um, I'd probably say Still Vengeance, that, because I, I, I want to try an RMC because you look insane and that just looks unreal. Mm. I feel like got a lot of bang, haven't you? Just making me think, what was our last ride of, of 2020? Mine was, um, last ride or last coaster? Right, anything. The last coaster was Big Dipper at Blackpool. Nice. I rode it with the kids and with John. Uh, I think. Yeah. Anyway, what was your last coaster? Coaster. I don't know, what did we do? Was it Icon? Probably. Yeah, it was. We got in the last ride of Icon. Mm. Right. Next question from Theme Park Kieran on Instagram. Hello. Hello. What will be the first park you go to when they reopen? Depends which opens first. They all open on the same day at the same time. All open on the same day. I'll probably say Towers because we were so close to going to opening. Yeah. But then again, if everyone heads, which I don't think you will, for a Blackpool Pleasure Beach weekend, opening weekend, because that was min. Um, what, but, opening weekend? What? Opening weekend, take two. Yeah, but I don't think it will, because if everything opens at the same one, everyone will go to their local parks. Yeah, I'd say Towers as well, to be fair. We've done like three or four trips to Blackpool this season already yeah. we're close so and the fact that we were so close like a few days away to go into literally it was the day before um, wasn't it? yeah so I'd say all the tellers yeah right well next one um so it's from Christopher Arms Ames on Twitter and uh Natalina Bailey on Facebook they both said pretty much the same question uh what's your top bucket list slash park uh, and this, not including Cedar Point, because everyone says Cedar Point. Right, okay. Off the top of my head, I can't wait to go to Leesburg. Because uh, I'm dying to ride Boulder. Dying to ride Boulder. Um, like I said, I'm like a big Woody fan, so... Yeah, I really, really want to ride Boulder. And Helix, obviously. Um... American Rise. I really want to go to Dollywood. That looks, looks really cool. good. Lightning rod, lightning rod for an RMC. Looks really cool, like the way it goes through the terrain and stuff. So, yeah, yeah. Dollywood and Leesburg at this moment in time. I'm going Energylandia, um, and I think that's because we should be going next month. Yeah. Like, at this very moment in time, it's hard for me to get my head around that and what we could be doing this year. And that's yeah. what's annoying me. Yeah, we have had to cancel a lot and it's quite... Yeah. And like, yes, there's other bigger parks in America and stuff like that, but I think just... The what could have been. What could have been is driving me insane. Mm. And it's going to drive no. me insane until we're there. And I think that's going yeah. to be a big problem for us. When, when all this ends, we're going to walk out and go. So many places. Yeah, we're going to struggle to fit anything in. Yeah. <laughs> but then again, we don't know when it's going to end, so we can't really plan. No. Um, right, let me start again. Okay, next question comes from David Dews on Facebook. Hello, David. Hello, David. Well... Um, oh my god, the cats are fighting. Stop! <laughs> See, oh cats are evil. Stop it. Um, cats are evil. They eat people. Don't they, Carol? <laughs> David Dews, like, shut up, man. <laughs> Slagging my cats off. Rude. Rude. They're evil, though. What do you think about that, Joe Exotic? He's slagging off cats. <laughs> yes, it's rude. He said you're a bitch, pal. He said you're a bitch. <laughs> 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 well, what's the question? Right. 
question is most anticipated ride you have not ridden i suppose that's a similar to if you could craig's kind of see I, i'd throw top throw dragster in there yeah i would throw Bond, like that like stealth um i'd throw wildfire at command and in um i can't wait to ride that purely because it just looks absolutely stunning and it's a lucy move <laughs> <laughs> if you just see it there yeah. <laughs> um, um yeah wildfire at command it just looks like a really good hour seat and also, I really want to ride Expedition GeForce at Holiday Park. Um, once again, another Intamin. I like my Intamin. It just looks ace. And it's... Uh, I think when we go to Europa Park, we're going to have to hop into Holiday Park so we can do it because it just looks so good and the, the airtime on it just looks sensational. So, yeah, that's mine. Fair enough. Fair enough. Next question. Uh, theme park nomads. Ben, hello. Yes, Ben. Um, if both of you could turn your favourite movie into a dark ride or coaster, what movie would you pick, and how would you theme it? Okay. My favourite movie of all time is Beetlejuice. Um, so I think I would turn that into a dark ride, not a coaster. And yeah, definitely a dark ride. And I could just uh, obviously like a horror gothic kind of that kind of theme, like following the theme of the film. Um, and you wonder why people call you a goth? <laughs> but no, it's my favourite film. So yeah, I would go for Beetlejuice and I'd turn it into a dark ride. Nice. See, I've got like three favourite films, which is Shawshank Redemption. Yeah. <laughs> the Dark Sorry, one second. One second, yeah. let me stop you there. Stay there. What's up? Kids. Okay, bear with one second. So we just carry this on you, Joe. Yeah. Hey. How are we doing? Hey. Hey. And now Miss Crotch returns. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm back. Sorry, child wanted me. Um. So yeah, before I was rudely interrupted. Um. Favorite films: Shawshank, Dark Knight, and Fight Club. And I'm thinking. Ooh, Dark Knight. Which one? I think if you go Shawshank, you could have um, I don't know, like a half dark ride, half like coaster. Mm -hmm. So it starts off outside, and then you go through the sewers. You have really bad smell pods, dark, like completely dark. Splashes of water before you come out. It could be a water ride where you come out. He's thought about this one, he's thought about it. I had not it's all just coming to me now. So yeah, <laughs> it's a walk. yes, yes, I've got it now. It's a water coaster and it comes out <laughs> of the sewers and you, that's the splash there. Coming out of the sewers into the water. There you go. You got it, sorted. You heard right. it here first. I don't know what the first part will be themed up, but you got sewers going into the water. Jesus, cats go mental. Right. Uh, Next question from Flourish the Family Vlogs on Twitter. Yes, Rich. Yes, Rich. Um, what are both of your ultimate headliners for a festival? We've had to have some rules to this, didn't we? Well, no, right. Here's the thing. This screen's really getting on my week. <laughs> <laughs> we could have loads of rules, right? We could go on for. We could go on forever with this. And like, go, oh, we can have this person if they're dead, if they're alive, blah, 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 blah. Just pick, right? Any band, you can pick one. I'm, I'm laying down the rule now. You, you, can pick one. you actually asked him what was the rules. No, I'm over the rules. It's mine. Rich. <laughs> pick one band that are alive and one band that aren't. 
What's one band alive, one band that isn't? What about the third? What? What about the third band? Well, no, we're not having three old days of headliners, Carl. Bloody yeah. hell. I'll be here all night. You one headliner, but you can pick one that's alive and one that's not. Gonna follow the rules. <laughs> all the rules. Uh, Just answer the question. I was having three, but if we go in one that's dead, uh, go Queen, Freddie Mercury. Oh mine. Rude. What? Rude, that was mine. And... Uh, I've got two written down here. Go for live. It'll be a joint oh, Oasis and Fleetwood Mac one. What? Oasis and Fleetwood Mac. Oasis. So predictable, man. The min. I would pay a lot of money to go and see them again. They're all right. No, sort it out. <clears throat> <laughs> Where did my voice go? Uh, mine are alive. It would be ACDC because you can't tell. I am yet to see them. I had tickets to go see them a few years ago before Bridge also pulled out and was replaced with Axl Rose. So I saw my ass with that because I didn't want to see Axl Rose and sold me tickets. Uh, so I've, I've not seen them. Um, so it'd be ACDC and Queen, like like Carl said. Freddie Mercury live. Looks unreal. Good, that, wouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Right, next question. Callum Thompson on Twitter. Hello there. Uh, woo -woo. What's the best concert you've ever been to? Woo! Question that. Okay. I've got two. Number one. Linkin Park and Jay-Z. June 2008 at Milton Keynes Bowl. 2008. Woo yeah, I had to look it up. I was like, oh my god, it was 2008. What a that is, Oh, you just threw the one in the spanner. Oh. It was Linkin Park and Jay Z with Ed Shikari, Pendulum, NERD, and was it in a party yeah. system? You are. No, it's bravery. Bravery. The bravery. Yeah. And in a party system. I don't. Know. Anyway. Linky Park, Jay Z, and more recently, last year, I went to see Metallica at the Etihad, and that was insane. <laughs> so you're having two. Two. I've got three written down. Well, um, Green Day, Milton Keynes in '05. Mm -hmm. National Ball, amazing, unreal, beautiful day, amazing gig. It was just. Amazing. Uh, uh, both my next ones are both in Leeds. And I'm going to... Yeah. I'm saying them both, I don't care. And Ishkari, Leeds Fest. Two, I was there. 2009. Was weird, nope. yeah, I was there. Seven won it. Unreal. There. After the first album. Just a massive pit. The whole tent was a massive pit and it was insane yeah. on it. And one I saw with you, Zebra Head at Slam Dunk. Yes. When was that? Yes. Two years, ago. Two years ago. Two years ago, yeah. Yeah, that was good. That was good. Right. right. Next question Christopher Arms. We've already had him, haven't we? Oh, well, there's another yeah. one. Again. Chris Frowns on Twitter, which park in the UK are you wanting to visit that you haven't visited yet? Um, I'm going to go Oakwood. Yeah. Um, Megaphobia looks men. I was actually on, yeah. chat, chat to someone the other day, and he said, you need to come down just for that. So, that's yeah, definitely. So. We did have plans to go to Oakwood in April. Rude. Um, so, yeah, that's going to have to wait. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think mine would be Oakwood, and I really want to go Fantasy Island because I want to do Millennium and Odyssey, um, leave comas. Mm. So yeah, that'd be my choice. And also got uh, Poulton's Park, the new oh, yeah. area. Oh, We've got to have a shout in there as well. We want to go. Stone Chaser looks really good, doesn't it? Mm. Definitely. Right. 
Uh, Hoost35 on Twitter. Ooh, whoever that is. What are you doing there? <laughs> this is irritating me. Why is it doing it? Stop moving your arms, Sam. Whoa, my arm's going. Whoa, I'm disappearing, man. <laughs> oh, you're a nutter. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Kind of about this, what is next for Alton Towers? Yeah, like I said before, some kind of water ride, please. I think we're both agreeing with that. Yeah. Water ride. Water course. Move swiftly on. Uh, Pandora's, Pandora's 9 on Twitter. Best bit of food that you have ever found in your beard, Carl? Um, I, try, I try and keep it clean. Uh, whenever I, eat, I always do have. Serv serviettes, but it's mainly, mainly cheeses get stuck in it. Melted cheese. Been many a time when I've told you you've got a bit of cheese in that beard. Yeah, that's the worst thing to get stuck in now. Cheese is like sticky; it get tangled, doesn't it? It's annoying. <laughs> Gotta get it quick, get it out. Yeah. Beard problems. It's like, what, what are we? Twenty first century. First world problems, beard issues. Beard problems. Oh. Um, so next. Go on, I'm listening. Paul Young on Twitter. Hello, Paul. Yep. Uh, describe your perfect feed area. Ooh. Uh, of. This is the obvious choice for Emma. Would have to be anything horror or gothic related. Um, yeah, things like that. Like, I really enjoy Saw the Ride purely for the theming. Uh, I know the ride leaves a lot to be desired, but theming wise, it gets me every time. Like, I really enjoy the theming. Same with 13. I enjoy the theming of 13. I just think 13 is obviously, like everybody says, it was completely marketed wrong for what it is. But in terms of the theming on its own, I love it. I like the soundtrack, I like, I like the little whispering and all that, I love it. So like anything, yeah, anything gothic or horror related, I am there. Yes. Um, I loved the Harry Potter theme in, in America and Universal and An Island of Adventure. That was unreal. Like, the detail was amazing. Um, mm. But I'll tell you what, I'd like to see a full on, I think, Disney have done one. I think Disney Paris, I'd like to get there. A proper Marvel yeah. themed one. Sounds of Adventure have got a bit. They've got like the, the X Men and Superman and the Hulk areas. Mm. Not Superman, Spider Man, sorry. Um, mm. area. But I think like yeah. Marvel, how massive it is now to have a full area set with that and all the different because you've got so many places you can fill you could have a whole theme park designed for it with all the different yeah, areas. It, is, it is coming to disney isn't it so yeah i think it's done in paris hasn't it i mean there's one in paris and there's one somewhere else What's the one in um china, is it? Is it china no what's the face not florida the other one I'm not very up to date on me Disney, in case you didn't know it. Disney ain't my thing. Um, but yeah, because they have really themed the Tower of Terror thingies to Marvel. Yeah. yeah. Um, but I wouldn't know, because Disney ain't my thing. Um, right, next question. If Oh, last question, actually. That's fine. Ooh. If you didn't have to work for money, but you wanted to keep yourself busy, what would you do? YouTube channel on theme parks. <laughs> it makes sense, does it not? <laughs> go go around the world, go on theme parks. Yeah. Pulse. Um, but I'd have a bar as well, or a couple of bars. 
Could I work in your bar? No, because you probably just drink all night. I am an exceptional barmaid, right? I never you said know you weren't. I just said that is my job. Drink. My job. I am a barmaid, so don't tell me I cannot work in your bar. No, this question working, and you go. Do you know what? It's only Carl's bar. He's got money. I'm going to drink, and that yeah. is what you'll do. You're really funny. Just think how fun it'd be. Oh, uh, of course. Uh, I think I would. I would obviously have a YouTube channel for roller coasters. Do uh, I think I would? I would like to have a really big house in the middle of nowhere and rescue loads of cats <laughs> because I enjoy a cat or two. We know this. You know, the next and Joe Exotic, Carol. Yeah. Yes. Coming on. I want um, to cats in your garden. <laughs> but like, you want to come and see them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. but i do like i've got two cats people that don't know um i often post photos of them on my instagram um it's boring who i love like anything and i always have to stop myself from when people are rehoming cats and stuff like that i have to stop myself taking them because i'm not supposed to have pets in the first place and i've got two cats so i think if i had my own house a really really big house with loads of land and like i just have a shitload of cats and I'd never come over. Yeah, you would. In fact, that's what I'm going to do then. <laughs> Thanks. I'm going to have fucking loads of cats so Carl never ever comes around ever again. You'd miss me. You're already missing me. I'm missing the fact that I have nobody to mock. Oh, thanks. Like, like the, the jokes that can be made about you in everyday life, Carl, are unreal and <laughs> never ending. And they are just the gift that keeps on giving. And the fact that I can't do that every day now really upsets me. Thanks. Thanks, Emma. But don't worry, because every time I think of a new one, I'm, I'm saving them. I'm saving them up. Um, so when we are allowed to see each other again, you are in for a treat. Can't wait. Who needs enemies, eh? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that is the end of our Q&A. Thank you, everyone who sent in questions. Yes, and uh, if there's anything else you want us to see, any ideas, we're, we're trying to think of stuff to do, but uh, yeah, just post it and hopefully we'll, we'll get to try and do some more. What? You, stop trying to kiss Joe. <laughs> I can't see whether I'm doing it, tell me. You, you, right under his chin there, there, there you go, licking his chin. And bed. <laughs> what has isolation done to you? Do you know you've got no idea how bored I am, Carl? You have got no idea. I have just just infuriated because everything that I do want to do, I think, oh, like I started. I don't know whether people have noticed, right? But my hair's brown for the first time in about ten years. It was black before, and I thought I know what I'll do. I'll change my hair colour. So I stripped the black out of my hair. I need to get some bleach to bleach it blonde before I dye the colour I want to go. Can I find any bleach? No. You going ginger? Everywhere. Gone. Gone. You going ginger? For about a day, yeah. No, you're uh, going to. No? I think you should go ginger. No. <laughs> uh, and then I thought, oh, I know, my bathroom needs decorating. I'm going to decorate my bathroom. So I look online for some grey paint. Can I find any grey paint? Can I fuck? Mm -mm. No, no grey paint. Everybody wants to paint their house grey these days. Fuming. So I've essentially got nothing to do for the time being. Bar buying crap. Oh, the amount of other stuff I have bought. I spent £20 on a shower curtain yesterday. It's a good shower curtain, don't get me wrong, but £20 is a bit steep, isn't it, for a shower curtain? That's all right. Do you know what the hilarious thing <laughs> Do you know what the hilarious thing is? In my big bathroom, I don't even have a shower. Why have you got a shower curtain then? <laughs> what? I don't even have a shower, it's a bath. So why have I ordered myself a shower curtain and a shower ball? There's no shower. You're an idiot. Absolute idiot. Shower curtain though. Like we can pretend I've got a shower. <laughs> oh, 
I'm glad I don't see you every day at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> I just can't wait until I can go out again and I'm just going to like run around in circles. I know. I don't know what to it's going to be good. Yeah. But for that, people need to stay inside, stay safe, not go out on the freaking parties. But yeah. Yes. Yeah. Anyway, we're waffling. Um, yeah. yeah. Like Carl said, if there's anything you want to see, curious about, want to know, drop us a message on any of our socials and we will see what we can do. Yes. But for now, from myself, from Joe Exotic. From myself and Cara Baskin. That bitch. That bitch. Uh, <laughs> we will see you next time. Thank you for watching. Yeah, bye. See you later.